There's been a point in my life where I have been able to look back and realise that that is the moment that I decided that I wanted to be an adult. I used to joke that sleeping was for dreamers. I didn't want to go down, um, I didn't want to numb everything out. I wanted to go out there 24-7 and party and ride motorbikes. In the beginning it was fun and then in the end it was kind of using it to get well and then if you didn't have it you were sick and that part was pretty horrible. And at the start it may just seem like a bit of fun, you're having a few puffs with your bros but as soon as you start getting hooked you start to have to sell it. And I didn't want all the stress and, and trouble and, and that comes with being an addict but what I wanted was to feel like I saw other people looking. And I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. There was no real connection in the family, um, we were all distant. I thought it was okay to take my daughter to other people's places and she'd just hang out there for hours on end while I'd be off dealing drugs. They stopped looking me in the eye and they had dark circles and they just looked haunted. If I hadn't gone and raided by the police back then I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you today three and a half years clean, that's for sure I'd still be in addiction. My moment was almost like a voice in my head that said to me, if you don't do something about your problem today, you're going to be dead by Friday. I broke down and my daughter, who up until that moment had never seen her dad cry, you know, she looked at me like, what the hell's going on? It was a year of hard work and clean hair follicle testing and clean urine tests and just doing everything that we could do in our power because they deserved to have their mum and dad there. My past and my addiction and my journey through meth has actually put a halt on me actually being able to see some of my children because the parents didn't, can't see the change. They can't see past the madness that it was. I can remember the birth. I remember cutting that umbilical cord and, and holding it. But from then until 13 years old, I can't remember a lot. As a young teenager, um, you know, she started experimenting with alcohol and cigarettes and going out and she's quite feisty uh, and fiery and, um, and it's led to some long-term addiction challenges for her. Going to rehab was the best thing and the best choice I did because I knew that I had to do it for my kids to be a better mum for them. I pretty much had my studio in there, I put beats on, put the headphones on and pretty much just get into that dimension. And I just started healing myself through rapping. You know, we have to find a place in society where we can be who we truly are and stand in our own light, but without having to experience that shame and guilt that sits alongside having become an adult. She made me what I am today. I'd never felt unconditional love until I had my daughter, but I never really felt it until I got clean.